Hey everyone, how's it going? We got a couple interesting stories we want to talk about today. First off, a fire broke out at Nintendo of Japan's headquarters. That's a little bit crazy, right? An actual fire. Was anybody hurt? We'll get into that. And then there's this weird mode on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but also other games from Nintendo that for some reason are hidden behind submenus. Now, I actually knew about this mode. I just kind of forgot because I hadn't really explored this mode in a while, but it went viral over the weekend, mostly because a lot of people didn't realize that you could do this with your Nintendo Switch. It's, it's almost like a hidden feature in certain games. And the real question is, why is it hidden? Now, that being said, before we jump right into all that news, I want to remind you that we do have a few giveaways going on at the moment. A $1,000 giveaway, that's right, $1,000 cash money you can put in your pocket for all new subscribers until we get to 100000 So when we hit 100000 subscribers, we will announce the winner of that. Uh, you also can enter to win a $20 eShop gift card this month simply by subscribing in the month of August. Oh, and we're giving away a Game Boy Grid uh, wall piece art you're seeing here. Uh, that's worth about $300 at retail. Anyone can enter. There's a link down in the pinned comment and the description for that. So emergency services have responded to a fire at Japanese headquarters. And I'm getting this off a of video game chronicle. And police claim that no one was injured in the fire. So that's obviously the positive news is it appears that there were no injuries, no fatalities, nothing you know, no one was impacted in that sort of way. But let's actually read the story and see what happened. So eight fire engines were reportedly called to Nintendo's headquarters today, Monday, after a fire broke out in its Kyoto, Japan-based development building. According to police cited in the Japanese media, the fire was reported just after 1 p.m., but was extinguished by employees before emergency services arrived at the scene. It's reported that desks and chairs in a room on the third floor were partially burned in the fire, but that no one was injured. The police and fire department are investigating the cause of the fire, but it's claimed that based on the conditions at the scene, it's believed the fire could have been caused by an electrical device that was being charged. Japan is currently in the midst of record summer in terms of severe heat days, with the country having experienced over 14 days of temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius so far. Only weeks ago, Nintendo outlined emergency plans for its Japanese headquarters in case of a disaster such as a major earthquake affecting its Kyoto buildings. In the shareholder Q&A, Nintendo President Shintaro Furukawa claimed that even in the event of such a disaster, the company has a detailed plan for how it would continue to operate. Even if our business continuity is hindered by a natural disaster, such as an earthquake, or by some dangerous infectious disease, which is highly contagious and could cause serious medical conditions, we have a documented response response plan and have implemented various proactive measures so that we can restore operations as quickly as possible. If a disaster occurs, we will convene a disaster response committee headed by the president that will act to confirm the safety of our employees, protect the integrity of company property, and secure personnel and communication systems for the recovery effort. Furukawa also claimed that Nintendo has taken other measures such as creating data backups and using multiple manufacturing partners to make sure disruption is minimal. As much as 18 18.5% of the world's earthquakes take place in Japan, despite its land only covering 0.25% of the planet. According to the country's Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Tourism, in April, Nintendo announced that it had successfully purchased the land next to the main headquarters in Japan because it plans to build a new 12-floor development center by 2027. Now, obviously, the biggest news here is that everyone's okay, and the, the additional news that, hey, even if this fire got worse than what it is, Nintendo has contingency plans in place to deal with it. Now, it being a device that was plugged in, that sounds like a phone <laughs> or a computer or something, some sort of electronic device clearly uh, started the fire, or at least that's what the initial findings are saying. So, yeah, it happens. No one's hurt. That's what matters. Things will probably go back to normal pretty quickly at Nintendo HQ. It was just one, uh, you know, one floor of the building, one room in the building. Obviously, they'll get their services in there to defumigate and, and and repair and repaint and replace all that stuff and make it so it doesn't smell like fire anymore. So, yeah, the people in that room will probably be displaced and put somewhere else in the headquarters. But they'll probably be back at work tomorrow in the same building, if I had to guess. I'm sure it's been evacuated just for safety measures. So, yeah, I... 
it ends up not being really that big of a deal, but Nintendo has a lot of contingency plans in place, probably due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They came up with a bunch of contingencies to just deal with this sort of stuff, plus all those earthquakes. So yeah, look, it sucks that this fire happened, but hey, at least nothing major came out of it. And we found out that Nintendo knows what they're doing if something did happen to disrupt the company. Next up, we got to talk about this really strange development over the weekend. And I'm saying strange because this isn't actually new. But it's amazing how many times something is discovered for a platform, for games on a given platform, that flew under the radar simply because it's not that simple. And today we're talking about how Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has a quote-unquote hidden LAN mode. So for those who don't know what LAN modes are or have never been to a LAN party, it's essentially a local area network party. So it's where you gather a bunch of friends together in the same building, the same room, and instead of relying on the internet to play each other, you guys would actually hook up to a local network switch and be able to just freely play each other without all that latency of the internet. It's really, really convenient and something I have done many, many times. Did a lot of Xbox and PC LAN parties growing up. Didn't do a ton of them with Nintendo and PlayStation, but definitely Xbox and PC, gaming laptops, gaming computers. Did a whole lot of LAN parties in situations like that that ended up being utterly phenomenal experiences and it was a great way for everyone to have their own system be in the same room and, and, and chit chat and share snacks and, and have like a, a bit of a party. Land parties are still a thing to this day. There's a lot of people that do it. And what's interesting is that Nintendo has support for this right there in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but you wouldn't know it unless you knew exactly how to access the land mode. And yes, this land mode does allow up to 12 Nintendo Switches to connect so each person can be running the game on their own Switch and be playing together in the same lobby. Insane. So how does this work? After you boot up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you have to go from the menu and hold the L and R button, then press the left stick in. And if you've done this correctly, the wireless play option will change to LAN play. Then you can select LAN play, you can create a room, you can join a room, and you can have up to two people play it from your Nintendo Switch in this mode. So a single Switch can support up to two players. So you only have six Switches, you can still have 12 players play, or you can have 12 people with their own Switch. So look, this isn't new. This has actually been known about for a while. And if you actually want to know uh, how long this has been known about, well, the article for this on Nintendo's official website has actually existed for over eight years because this was supported all the way back on Wii U. So this isn't a new feature. But the real question people have is why is this hidden? Why is it a special button combination to bring it up? And, and that's... That's the interesting part, because it turns out a lot of Nintendo's other games have hidden LAN modes as well, if you just do button combos. A ton of them. Pretty much all their multiplayer games have hidden LAN modes that you need to use button combos to bring up the option. I find this to be fascinating that Nintendo, even to this day in 2022, continues to choose to hide a feature that, while is a sub-feature that not a ton of people are going to take advantage of. Obviously, majority of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe players are just going to play online, but having the option there is just a convenience for local tournaments and local play and playing with friends and throwing literal land parties like it'd be sweet to have eric over here and be able to play any multiplayer game we want without having to use the internet and that can be done it's just hidden and the real question is why does nintendo hide it no one's really pressed nintendo on why the land features are hidden in almost every single multiplayer game they have this is definitely something i would like to see someone actually ask nintendo about why are they doing this and Obviously, because it's hidden, this is why it went viral over the weekend. There were a number of tweets out there. People said, hey, did you know there's this hidden LAN? Well, look, we're having a LAN party right now with 12 switches. And it went viral because of how many people don't know about it. It's not that it's new. It's that it's hidden. And because it's hidden, most people don't know about these options. And Nintendo does this in a number of ways. As an example, you can get to a web browser on Switch, but it's hidden. And you have to forget passwords for social media accounts. Why? That's so weird. Why can't we just have a web browser and be good? Why do we have to have all these things hidden? Why are they hidden features in games? It's one thing when it's like an Easter egg hiding thing or an extra unlockable, but you're not unlocking land mode. You're using a button combo to access what is a basic feature in all of the multiplayer games. I can tell you right now, because I've already done a Halo Infinite LAN party, 
the option isn't hidden. Other companies aren't hiding the LAN option. It's just a basic option in the menu system. But for some reason, Nintendo doesn't do that. Now, we all know when it comes to internet, Nintendo seems to be behind, but this is local networks, and they've been supporting this for a long time. So if I had to say anything, I'm glad this went viral, and I'm glad we're talking about it today because it just draws attention that hopefully Nintendo sees. It might not be my video. It might not be Spawn Wave. It might not be the Twitter, but something that some sort of Nintendo employee catches wind of, the surprise, shock, and demand for such things to not be hidden, that hopefully when we get the next Mario Kart game, we get the next Smash Bros. game, you know, I don't think it's going to happen in Splatoon 3, but maybe Splatoon 4, and all these other ones moving forward, that Nintendo decides to maybe just not hide it behind a button combo. How hard would it be to have wireless mode and LAN mode listed next to each other, and you just select which one you want to use? I, you know, I don't really know how, why that's a difficult thing for Nintendo to do, I do hope they address it moving forward. You know, I'll try to be fair to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in that, you know, it was a Wii U game. But again, you could do this on Wii U. So hopefully this is addressed moving forward. But hey, if you didn't know about this mode, I'll put a link down to the customer support page uh, if you want more details on how to do LAN mode uh, in case those initial instructions I gave you just didn't work. But it, it does work, folks. It It's legitimately something you can do. All right, everyone, that's all I got for you for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you drop a subscribe, like the video. And you know what? Why don't you head down to the comment section below and tell me your thoughts on not necessarily the Nintendo Fire, but maybe Nintendo's policies that they have built. Do you think those policies, at least what we know about them, is good enough? And what do you think about Nintendo hiding this land mode? Do you think that they should unhide it? Do you think it's not really that big of a deal? Let me know, because... I'm just one person in the crowd. Who knows what the crowd really thinks? Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.